Welcome to today's yoga practice, which we focus on our root chakra, the muladhara, located at the base of our spine. It provides us with a base or foundation for our lives and helps us to feel grounded and able to withstand challenges. It's responsible for our sense of security and stability. And with this intention, we're going to flow together, starting in child's pose, opening the knees, met with the part, grounding down our heart, and taking a deep inhale through the nose here. And exhale. You can either rest your forehead on the mat or tuck your chin. And stay here a couple more breaths, grounding down, sinking the hips a little bit deeper, Connecting with the ground below you. Deep inhale here. And exhale, sinking a little bit deep into the ground. Your next inhale, activate your fingers and hands, open them a little bit wider. And then exhale here, shifting your body up, planting the hands under the shoulders, the knees below the hips, and then moving into cat and cow. Exhale, bring the head down, spine towards the roof. And inhale, looking up, arching the spine, hips shift back. Exhale, falling down, looking towards your navel. And inhale, gaze shifts up, hips move back. Exhale, bring it back down. And inhale, coming back up into cow position. Exhale, bring it back down, spine moves all the way up, curving as much as possible. Inhale, looking up. And then staying here, tucking the toes and shifting the hips back into our first downward facing dog. You can start to walk on the spot, keeping your heels in the air, bending the knees. Maybe you want to move your head a little bit. Fingers are widely spread and we try to shift the weight away from our wrists and into the fingertips. And we're going to stay here. Start to bend your knees and bring your upper body closer towards the top of the legs. And slowly start to walk your feet towards the front of the mat. Coming into your halfway lift. Bringing the hands on top of the legs. And then exhale, falling down. You can bend your knees here or keep them straight. Inhale, back into your halfway lift. Try to maintain your lower spine straight. And with the exhale, falling down. Inhale, back into your halfway lift. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, this time rising all the way up. With the exhale, bring the hand in front of your heart space. From here, we're going to open our feet a little bit wider. And coming into Tadasana, our mountain pose. We really want to connect with our roots, imagining them growing from our feet into the ground. Start to engage your leg muscles. Maybe roll the shoulders back once more, opening up the heart. Hands stay in front of your heart space. Close your eyes and take a couple deep breaths in through your nose and also exhaling through the nose. Feel the connection with the ground below you. Deep inhale here and exhale. The next inhale, bringing the arms up over the side and bending back slightly. With the exhale, bending down from the hips, coming into forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend your knees and we're coming to halfway lift. With the exhale, shifting the hips back up, coming to forward fold. And from here, stepping the left leg back. We're coming into high lunge. We're going to stay here, bringing the hips up just slightly, pulling our legs closer together and with the exhale, sinking the hips towards the ground.
holding it here, you can come onto your fingertips. Or if you can't reach the ground, use blocks as help. When planting the hands back down, stepping back into downward facing dog, exhaling here. Deep inhale, shifting the shoulders over your hands, coming to plank position. We're going to hold it, engaging our abdominal muscles, the glute muscles. Try to maintain the straight line coming from your heels all the way to the shoulders, head is elongated with the spine. Then shifting it back to downward facing dog. Deep inhale here and exhale. Deep inhalation here and exhale, slowly bending the knees, shifting the hips back up and holding it here. And then stepping the left leg towards the front of the mat, coming into high lunge. Lifting up the hips here as well, bringing the legs closer together. And then exhale, bringing the hips low, sinking deeper into your high lunge variation. Feeling the strength in the legs and then shifting up the hips again, stepping the right foot next to the left one coming to the front of the mat and then rising up for halfway lift, inhale here. And with the exhale, bending down, forward fold. Inhale, bring the arms up over the side, rise all the way up, looking up. And with the exhale, bring the hands in front of your heart space. Deep inhalation here. And exhale. Deep inhale here, exhale bring the hands down, inhale arms lift up, looking up. With the exhale bending down from your hips, coming into forward fold. Inhale come halfway up. With the exhale plant the hand in front of your feet. This time sinking the hips a little bit lower, coming into Utkatasana, chair pose, bring the arms up. Pelvis tucks in towards the front, so we're aligning our lower vertebras, and we're staying here, taking deep inhalations through the nose, and exhale, strong connection with the ground, deep inhale here, and with the exhale, bring the hips up, shifting the upper body down, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift, bending the knees. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, back to chair pose, Utkatasana, bringing the arms up, hips sink low. Pelvis tucks in, your whole spine is aligned. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, bending back. Inhaling here, and with the exhale, coming back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, stepping it back to downward facing dog. Deep inhalation here, start to bend your knees. And exhale. Deep inhale here, your knees stay bent, bringing the heart closer towards the ground, fingers widely spread. We always try to shift the weight away from our wrists. If your fingers and hands are strong enough, you could try to come onto your fingertips while holding this position. If that is too much, just plant your hands down, but keep in mind to protect your wrists. And walking on the spot, stretching out the legs. And finding your way back to stillness and downward facing dog. Elongating the spine. Inhale, bending the knees, coming onto your tippy toes. And then stepping the right leg in front, close to your hands. And bringing the left leg down, coming to low lunge. Your next inhale, lift up the arms over the side. And shift your hips back down. 
inhaling here bring the hips a little bit higher and with the exhale sinking back down bring the hands towards the ground we're guiding the right foot a little bit further towards the right side and then the right hand moves inside of the right foot from there you start to walk both hands and arms towards the left side bringing your hips closer to the ground and if it's possible for you, you could try to lower all the way down onto your elbows. Staying here, deep stretch for your hips, opening them up, connecting with the ground. Deep inhale here. And exhale. Deep inhalation here. And then bring the hips back up, exhale, sinking them a little bit deeper. Inhale, slowly coming back up with the hip. Then untucking the left leg, straightening it out. And then stepping the right foot back next towards the left, coming into downward facing dog. Again, come onto your tippy toes, bend the knees, shifting the hips a little bit higher. If you want, you can walk out your dog here. And then finding your way back into stillness, downward facing dog. Fingers are widely spread, connecting with the ground. Inhale, coming back onto your tippy toes, shifting the hips up, bending the knee. And then stepping the left foot towards your hands, bring the right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, lift up the arms over the side and sink the hips a little bit deeper. And exhale. Deep inhale here. With your next exhale, you're bringing your arms down towards the right side. Left foot starts to walk over towards the left. Opening the hips even more. The foot is slightly angled out. And then we start to walk our hands over towards the front right side. Come into this deep stretch, inhale, lift up your hips for one breath. And with the exhale, sink them down a little bit deeper. Bring your arms over to the right, they're not there yet. And then if you like, you can come onto your elbows again, lowering all the way down. White leg lizard pose, connecting us with the ground opening our root chakra, releasing tension, deep inhale here, and exhale. Whenever we're finding ourselves in these deep stretches, make sure that you can still breathe with ease. Deep inhale here, start to walk your hands closer towards the foot. Then untuck the right knee, straighten the leg, stepping the left foot back, coming into downward facing dog. Then from there, shifting our shoulders up and over to plank pose and lowering all the way down, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, straighten your legs. You can lift up both legs to elongate them a little bit more. Then shifting the hands back next to your ribs. With the next inhale, lifting up for cobra. And exhale, bring it down towards the ground. We repeat this two more times. Inhale here. And exhale. With the next inhale, rolling the shoulders back up, coming up to Cobra Pose. Exhale, lowering the forehead down on the ground. Deep inhale here. Inhale one last time, lifting up for Cobra. And exhale, resting the forehead down. We're tucking the toes again and then rolling over our knees, coming back into downward facing dog. From here, we open our hands a little bit wider to hold onto the mat and also walk our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. And from here, you start to bend your knees and bring your lower leg almost parallel towards the ground, shifting the hips back and up. Coming back into a wide leg, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees bent down. 
and try to shift your hips even higher while the heart starts to melt towards the ground. And only if you feel ready, you can start to straighten your legs, come into this very active, widely open downward facing dog variation with trying to keep the hips even higher, shifting the pelvis back and up. Heart opens up here, hands are strong. Deep inhale and exhale. And whenever these positions feel too strong for you, you could always lower your knees. Inhale, slowly start to walk your hands below the shoulders, feet closer together, shifting back and up into your normal downward facing dog. Then stepping the left leg in front of the mat, coming into high lunge. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, shift the right foot towards the front of the mat. And then from there, start to walk your hands over towards the left side. So you're finding yourself in straddle position. Inhale, lifting halfway up. And with the exhale, falling down, right leg forward fall. You can plant the hands on the same line as your feet. The next inhale, coming up for halfway lift. With the exhale, start to walk your hands over towards the right side again. Bring the right lower arm on top of the right leg and opening up with the left arm, coming into side body stretch, warrior two variation, deep inhalation here into the side of the body. With the exhale, you bring the right shoulder down, closing your hips for a moment, bring the hands on the hip. With the inhale, you're opening up again, bringing the arm up and over towards the front of the mat, holding it here. Keep the right knee on top of the right ankle and the left leg straight, engaging the side core muscles, deep inhalation here. And exhale, deep inhale here. If you can, you can sink a little bit deeper into your hips when you exhale. And then bringing the left arm back down. Walking the hands back towards center and then over towards the other side. This time bring the left arm on top of the left leg and inhale opening up with the right arm over the side. Opening the whole right body. Left knee finds itself above the left ankle the right leg is straight then we'll bring the right hand on top of the hip and closing down here with the next inhale opening your shoulders back up coming into the side stretch warrior variation deep inhalation here and exhale and try to maintain the connection from your foot all the way into your hand feel how the energy flows alongside your body one last deep inhale here. And then with the exhale, bringing the hand back down on the ground. Bringing the left foot towards center or towards the middle. Grounding the hands back down, coming into right leg forward fold. Planting the hands between your legs. Relaxing your neck. If you move one, you can move your head from right to left side couple times and then bending all the way back down holding it here deep inhalation and exhale your next inhale rise back up onto your fingertips then walk your hands over towards the front of the mat towards the right hand side stepping back into downward facing dog deep inhale here and exhale. The next inhale, walk your feet towards the middle of the mat. Then coming into halfway lift, bend your knees. And inhale, coming into Utkatasana chair pose. Hips shift down, arms move up, feeling energy all the way from the feet, moving through your body into the fingers. And with the next inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, guide the hands in front of your heart. 
Taking a couple deep breaths here, relaxing your shoulders, your face. Reconnecting with the ground, feeling the feet touching the mat. Reconnecting with your roots. And when you're ready, you can start to move over towards the side or keep in front of the mat. From here, you start to shift your weight into the right foot and lift up the left leg and find your right position for tree pose, either on the ankle, the lower leg or above the knee. You can bring your hands in front of your heart, find your drishti, your focus point, somewhere on the level of your third eye. And if you like, you can lift up your arms over the side, bringing the palms together and holding it here, finding your balance. The next exhale, bring the hands down in front of your heart, release the left leg. Deep inhale here. And exhale. When you're ready, start to lift up the right leg. open it towards the right side, searching for the right spot for your foot on the ankle, the lower leg or above the knee. Then bring the hands towards heart center, deep inhalation here and exhale, deep inhale here and exhale. When you're ready and you want to go further, you can lift up your arms, bring the palms together above your head, finding your balance, deep inhalation here, and exhale, guiding the hands back down towards heart space, releasing the right leg, grounding down mountain pose. And from there, with your next exhale, coming to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Then opening the feet a little bit wider, sinking your hips down, coming into Malasana, Yogi Squat. If you need a little bit of support for your feet, you can roll the mat, ground down your heels and sit on the mat. If you don't need the mat, you can always ground down on the mat floor. And then holding it here, elbows pressed lightly against the knees. Hands find themselves in front of the heart. Then we start to bend our head down, releasing all tension in the neck. Elbows keep pressing against the knees just slightly. We're staying here for a couple breaths, deep inhale through the nose, and exhale, deep inhalation here, and exhalation, inhale slowly lift up your head, give yourself a smile, then planting the hands in front of the feet, and shifting the hips back up, coming to forward fold. Inhaling to halfway lift and exhale this time sitting all the way down on the ground. Inhale, lift up the arms over the side. With the exhale, bring the left hand on top of the right knee, right arm is behind your back. Inhale, lifting up the heart a little bit more. With the exhale, bend your right shoulder open towards the right side. Inhale, arms move back up to center. And exhale, reversing the twist, bring the right hand on top of the left knee, left arm behind the back, inhale, lifting up the heart. With the exhale, opening up the left shoulder a little bit more. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, hands move back down towards your heart. Then from there, you can bring the hands on the knees. Um, we're tapping into a little meditation. If you like you can close your eyes. If it's uncomfortable for you 
you sit on the floor, you can always grab a block and bring that below your hips. Then start to relax your face. Focus on your third eye, taking a deep inhale here. With the exhale, start to release every muscle in the body, starting from that point, and send a wave of relaxation through your whole system. If you like, you can reconnect with your breath, taking deep inhalations here, and exhale. If you would like to stay here for longer, you can pause the video and stay in your meditation. Otherwise, with your next inhale, lift up your arms over the side, bring the palms together, and with the exhale, bring them down in front of your heart space, bowing down in front of yourself. Thanking yourself for taking the time to practice today and then rubbing your palms until they're nice and warm, bring them on top of the closed eyes. When you feel ready, slowly release, blink open your eyes. Namaste.